Here's my daily routine as a doctor turned traveler slash digital creator, and I'm also a fitness junkie. Welcome back to Behind the Scenes Weekly, the series that follows me and my fiance as we travel the world, trying to work out how to live a healthier and happier life. Traveling is very important to me, but so is working and so is working out. So I had to find a way to combine my passions and make sure I'm honoring all of them. And why would you want to watch this video of my daily routine? Personally, I really enjoy watching people's or hearing about people's routines, especially their morning routines, to see what they do and see if there's anything that I can implement in my own life. And maybe you can take aspects of this routine and incorporate into your own routine. And I hope this video encourages you to explore new possibilities and pursue your passions as well. And what better place to do it than on Chiago Island in the Philippines. So let's get to the routine. So I usually wake up between eight and nine, depends when I've gone to bed and how well I've slept. If I haven't slept very well, I just let myself lie in. And I go straight to what I like to call the human admin. So doing a wee, brushing your teeth, just that kind of thing. And as you know, I'm a big fan of Huberman and his huge motto is sunlight before screen light. So I try and get outside as soon as I can. And if you don't know why, that's for two reasons. Firstly, the sun, the sunlight in your eyes just wakes you up. It makes you feel more alert. And secondly, it's really good for your circadian rhythm. So by getting that early morning sunlight, it sets the clock in motion for you to feel sleepy later on in the day, about 14 hours later. I used to think that you could just get your sunlight at any time of day, but actually I found out recently that morning is the best time if you really wanna get your sleep cycle in check. And this is especially important if you're a night owl like myself. Once I got a little bit of sunlight, I like to meditate and I usually go for about 10 to 30 minutes. It did used to be more. I used to meditate roughly 60 minutes per day. And that was when I first finished my first with passengers retreat five years ago. I tend not to do 60 minutes anymore. It's just a little bit too much in terms of taking up too much time in the day. But I do also think it was very useful when I did do it because it really just upped my meditation game to the next level. And if you're just getting into meditation, I'd recommend trying to work your way up to 60 minutes and then eventually weaning yourself down when you feel like you've really got the hang of it. And the type of meditation I do is called Vipassana. And the reason I do Vipassana is because it's just the method I've learned. So I haven't really looked into any other meditation techniques formally. And I've been to two different Vipassana retreats and that's just a technique that I've learned and that works for me. So the passenger just involves following the breath and scanning the body sensation. And I've actually made a video about my most recent Vipassana retreat just up here. And that's just a bit of an insight about what I went through in that retreat. And I've also decided to incorporate some breathing techniques. And I learned these breathing techniques during my recent freediving course. And it's basically just a way to calm the nervous system. And again, I made a video about this in B BTS episode three, I think it was. And I find incorporating the breathing techniques and doing a bit of Vipassana is just a really nice way to start the day. If I can, I do the meditation outside because because of the above reasons, just trying to get that morning sunlight. And then I move on to the next fun bit, which is scout out a local coffee place. So the next part of my day is going on Google Maps on my phone and looking for the best coffee I can find in the area. And I usually try to find a cafe that I can work in as well. And this is where I do all my creator stuff. So all my research from my videos, all the scripting, all the video editing, and then I plan when I'm gonna film as well. And I'm actually thinking about making a video on the whole creator process of like how I actually make these videos. Um, if that's something you'd be interested in, let me know in the comments below. I can make another video about that. Just like what equipment I use, what editing software, let me know if you're interested. If you're not, that's fine. I won't make a video on that topic. So after a couple of hours editing videos and such is when I do my workout. So where on earth do I work out when I'm traveling the road? So usually, again, I just go Google Maps, type in gym, and I just look for all the gyms in the area. Occasionally, the hostel has a gym and it's usually semi-decent, has some weights, pull-up bar, dip bars, that kind of thing. If there's no gym nearby or no gym in the hostel, I'll go look for a calisthenics park, as you know, this channel is and started as a calisthenics channel and just mostly stick to body weight exercises. And I have made a video about my exercise routine here. And I'm thinking about going into more detail of that. I'd like to see that too. And if there's no calisthenics park, I will often resort to just working out in the hostel room or hotel room. And again, that would just be body weight exercises, push-ups, pull-ups if I can get creative on the door frame, and then using some bands for, for arm isolation exercises. And then occasionally I use my rucksack as well. And usually around midday to 1 p.m. we've I've done my morning routine we'll go for some lunch and start actually experiencing the country that we are staying in and that can involve anything so at the moment we are in Siago Philippines uh, currently 
at a beach uh, with some lovely rock pools. We're just about to go for a swim, but we've just done a multitude of your classic traveler stuff. And I don't know if you can tell, I am a, I am a filthy traveler. You can see my shirt is looking like a proper traveler. I probably should have put on something cleaner for this video, but it's all I've got. <laughs> this morning we went surfing, haven't got any footage of that, but we've been exploring waterfalls, doing rope swings, hanging out with locals, eating local food, in other places, going to temples, soaking up the culture. And in most places, we usually rent a motorbike and we just get around uh, with the two of us on the bike. And by motorbike, I really mean moped or scooter. I'm not a proper motorcyclist, it's just something to get around on. And it's a really super easy and fun way to get around. And then after a fun day of activities, we head back to the hostel, go for some dinner, sometimes do some socializing if it's a social hostel. Sometimes we'll go out dancing or partying. Usually aim to get to bed between 11 and midnight and that's a daily routine. So has this daily routine worked at honoring my passions? I think so, yes. Obviously we can't do the same routine every day. If we've got activities which are planned in the morning, I'm gonna skip all those things and just do that. So for example, this morning we went surfing and I didn't do any of my morning routine, which is fine. But I have found that this is my ideal day and I'm usually happiest when I follow this structure. I've realized from previous times that I've traveled that if I travel without a goal or a structure, I often feel a bit aimless and my mood actually drops. I tend to feel like I'm not really achieving anything and I'm not really doing much. And I'll find I'll enjoy my day a lot more if I feel like I've achieved something. I feel like I've worked on something and I feel like I've progressed towards something. So for me at the moment, that's creating content like this and also working out. I've noticed a lot of people when they do a long-term travel, they tend to fall off the wagon and they, they just forget about doing all the things that make them happy back home. There's no reason that the stuff that you do back home won't make you happy whilst you travel. And I've really found that having that structure and that routine has actually enhanced my travel rather than take away from it. And I'm really grateful to have my fiance who also feels that the morning routine is super important to her. So we can both prioritize it and get things done that we want to get done. Before I go, I'd like to say, I may have slightly lied to you. I haven't quit my job as a doctor and become a digital creator and living off the money that I earn online. I think calling myself a digital creator insinuates that I can make money. And I have made a little bit of money in the past. However, my content doesn't make any money at the moment. We're actually just traveling off many years of savings at the moment. And I am attempting to stay connected to my medical roots whilst traveling. So next week, actually, we'll be doing some healthcare volunteering in another island in the Philippines. So I'm really looking forward to that, just to see what the healthcare is like in a more rural, less developed country, see what I can learn and see what I can do to help as well. I'm hoping it'll be a really good experience and I would like to share that with you too. I really hope you enjoyed that video and I hope it encourages you to explore new possibilities, maybe incorporate some of this stuff from my routine into your routine and also inspire you to pursue your own passions, whatever they are, make sure they're incorporated into your day. I'll see you next Sunday for next week's video. And as always, keep training, keep living. Peace. I'm gonna go annoy my fiance now. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye.